Now, drowning is the leading cause of death for children with autism under the age of 14, but a new program is hoping to turn that around by teaching water safety skills. Our reporter Mark Reddy has more from Coogee Beach in Sydney's east. The Coogee Dippers program has almost doubled in size since it was first set up last summer by Autism Swim and Coogee Surf Lifesaving Club. Joining me now is Simone. She has two children in the program. Simone, how did you first find out that your children had autism? Uh, the eldest was a bit late to start with talking, so he was three years old and hadn't muttered a word, so we took him along to get a diagnosis. We were absolutely devastated when we first found out. It was like getting hit by a bullet and it ricocheting through your whole life. You worry about things, will they fall in love, will they travel, will their world be bigger and expand or is it going to be quite an isolating world for them? How did you come across the Dippers program then? Anything new that happens specifically for children in the autism community and their parents spreads like wildfire. Um, you get very frightened and apprehensive about trying something new because your children can come out with random behaviour. So when there's something that's run for them, I always feel like, what could possibly go wrong? Let's just dip our toes in and see what it's like and give it a go. Worst case scenario is we're there for 10 minutes, we pack up and go home. We had 50 volunteers on the first year. These are people who have given up their Sunday mornings, come down here to volunteer to help 15 children. It was amazing. I was teary. We were welcomed with open arms. All the volunteers have already gone through an info night on your child. So they've worked out what your child's strengths and weaknesses are, what to look out for before a uh, meltdown's about to happen, what they're scared of, uh, you know, and what they need reining back with. And it's different for every child, isn't it? It is. With my two children, I have one who is completely fearless. Um, if we take him down to the beach, he's on his way to New Zealand. And the other child will own, just likes to stay at the water's edge and, and only put his toes in. So one child had to be taught safety, you know, when to duck under a wave and when to swim over a wave. And the other child had to be taught to be a little bit brave and come in past his comfort zone. Children with autism are 160 times more likely to drown than other children. What skills have your children learnt in this program? These boys have been in swimming lessons at a pool setting for over seven years, but the first time we took them to the beach, it's like they don't know what's going on here. They can't transfer the information learnt in one setting over to another. So it's just reinforcing that, yes, you can do this, you've got this. And there's, of course, a social aspect to it as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's great for the children and the parents. We're in it together. We've gone through the same experiences. So it's a very loving, engaging and supportive community. And it's also a break for you guys as well. It is. Uh, just last Sunday, my husband and I, after making sure the boys were settled, got to go in and have a good, good half hour swim ourselves. And we were laughing like children. It was just, we couldn't believe it. It's a beautiful, sparkly day. The children are safe. They were riding on boards. They've never ridden on boards, surfboards before. And um, it was just one of the best days that we've had together as a family. So the Coogee Dippers program runs every Sunday until mid-March here at Coogee Beach.